Okay, welcome back to the channel. Um, if you are into filming your desk to uh, do an unboxing video for instance or for any craft making video, whatever the case may be, you might need this tool to help you in your production process. Right? So your typical setup uh, would be like uh, you have your smartphone attached to the uh, articulating arm or monopod or tripod and part of the recording process is to check the display regularly to know whether you're still recording or not or if the battery has died already. In other cases, you might need to put the smartphone a little higher than usual which is above your eye level already because you need to film a lot of things in the table. And when you do, you need to tiptoe a lot which is an unnecessary strain to you, right? So what if you could use a mirror while filming? So let's build a lightweight solution using inexpensive materials that we can find online. Alright, so let's get on with it. Here's what we'll need. Number one, sticker paper mirror. Number two, Yunteng smartphone holder. And number three, quarter thread adapter. Here's the mirror that we'll use. When you bind this, uh, you'll get nine pieces of 15 centimeter square sticker paper mirror just for 50 pesos. And we'll only need one, daming pang extra. Number two, uh, you'll need this rotating smartphone holder from Yunteng. This is my favorite because it holds flat and has firm hold on any smartphone. Aside from the usual quarter thread mount for the selfie stick or tripod, there's another quarter thread to hold other accessories like microphone or light and for our project we'll use it to hold the cardboard and then finally the quarter thread adapter this came from various mounting adapters i already own but you can buy this on its own i'll provide the links in the comment section for the shop list we'll need an empty box and other tools like ruler pencil or marker scissors or cutter First thing to do is to line up the cardboard box against your smartphone to see where you could place the mirror. Do a rough measure of the folds and for the cutout. I'd recommend to give enough allowances on the edges so you have enough room for the adjustments later. For the mirror, it will depend on how big you'd like the mirror to be. It can be slightly larger than the phone, maybe you'll have a bigger phone next time, you know, or, or you can use the entire sticker. For me, slightly larger than my phone should do. Here I'm trying to visualize where the mirror will be placed and whether I could see the reflection of the smartphone. Remember, the mirror has to be at a certain comfortable height above the smartphone. Now attach the sticker onto the cardboard and cut out the unnecessary parts. Using the quarter thread adapter, align the lower section of the box and punch a hole that would line up to the tripod mount of the smartphone holder. Finally, place the smartphone and test the viewing angle of the mirror and make the necessary adjustments that's needed. I kept some ears to fixate the angle of view. This is an optional step but I just thought it might help in the future especially if the cardboard is no longer yielding to the desired position due to stress in the crease. All right, ito na. I've attached the tool to the arm. Let's see it in action. That's it, guys. Have fun. Ciao.